what is up everybody welcome back to the channel simple simple and very 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 powerful strategy that every single local business needs to do so primarily i'm talking to the 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 medium to small business owner okay the local business owner the dentist the chiropractor the landscaper the plumber the freaking local real, real estate agent your local freaking insurance agent whatever like the local owner who owns the freaking ice cream parlor like the barber shop like dude if you own a local business and you're a small business owner this is what you absolutely have to do this needs to be your very next ad first of all your very next ad needs to be your like ad you need to increase the likes on your page just to bring some credibility and social proof to the page okay that's ad number one Facebook ad number one, get your like count up, right? So I'm going to be helping out my friend here, Mary. Um, I'm going to take her likes up a few thousand, but this is the video that I'm referring to. Every single local business owner needs to pull out their phone and introduce themselves. Bottom line, that is what I'm talking about. That's what every local business owner needs to do in 2020. You simply pull out your phone, you introduce yourself, and you go on a three to four minute rant about you, your background, your experience, your passion, your business, when you started the business, how long you've been in the local community, um, your family, and just everything you got going on, right? What you're fired up about and how you appreciate the local community, how you appreciate being in your area for 10 years, 15 years, three years, whatever, and how you just love the area, how your family is, is being raised there, your kids are going to school there. You need to simply just go on a rant about you, man, your background, your experience, and what you're fired up about. And all you're going to do is you're going to simply post it on the page. It goes on the page first, right? You upload it to the page first, and then you go and run an ad. And you target every single person in that local area. And so that's what we're going to do here. So Mary, she literally pulled out her phone. I said, Mary, here's what we got to do. Here's the next step. Pull out your phone, introduce yourself, and have fun with it. Raw, uncut, unedited, straight from the cell phone. And, and this right here, you guys, I'm telling you, this is what we're looking at all day on social media. Whether you're coming across random people and you're seeing their video on Instagram or you're seeing their video on, on LinkedIn or Facebook or YouTube, like this whole social media thing that we got going on here, it's not about you being a crazy professional editor and a Hollywood blockbuster producer. Like you don't have to be the best at video at all all like at all at all this is cell phone this is very very amateur video 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 producing right video production whatever the hell you want to call it and that's what it takes that's what i'm telling you that's all it takes you pull out your phone you introduce yourself and you run the ad directly to your local area and what we did is we posted it on the page we pinned it at the top and this is a simple intro of mary and so what i told her i said mary I'll log into your account, I'll run the ad for you, and we'll get a few thousand people to see it. Now, the whole thing about this, there's a few strategies behind it. Number one is, yes, we want to introduce ourselves to our local area. That's number one. And then number two, we want to create a custom audience around those people who actually watch it. So this is the beginning of our Facebook campaign. We're going to introduce ourselves. We're going to get a few thousand people to view it. We're going to build a custom audience with that and then spend the next few weeks retargeting all of those viewers so i wanted to just take you guys through the setup and and what we do so i'm just telling you man i can't stress it enough if you're a local business owner if you're a solopreneur and you're and, and you're focused on 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 client services right service servicing people customers whatever like this is what you want to do man you want to you want to you want to do a video like this okay so here's what i'm gonna do it's up on the page. Now we're going to come back here to the ads manager and we're going to run that Facebook ad. We're going to run that, that video. Okay. So in this case, if you're in real estate or employment or credit, make sure you comply with this and check the box and um, choose whichever one is, is relevant for your business. And this one's going to go under video views and we're going to let this run for a few days 
get a few thousand people to view it and um, again, retarget those viewers with a custom audience, okay? And with conversions. So we'll be, we'll be um, optimizing for lead capture after we build this audience, okay? So video views, and I'm gonna call this intro, intro video. Okay, so that's the intro video. We hit continue, and I'm gonna simply paste it up here. And then I'm going to come down and we don't have any custom audiences just yet. This is literally Facebook ad number one. Um, so I'm not going to worry about any of this stuff. I'm not going to worry about the detailed targeting. Um, I'm going to leave that blank. I'm going to leave it open-ended. I'm not even going to focus on that. What I will put in though is the actual um, um, location. So the location, we're, now we're narrowing it in. We're only focused on our local area. So in her case, her local area is going to be um let's see area code let's go area code three zero one five two okay so this city is um kenisawa georgia okay so this is this is what i'm i'm focused on right here is this city however the hell you pronounce that so i'm going to take out united states and I am going to go with people living in this location, okay? I'm gonna paste that in, there it is there, and I am going to take this up 50 miles, okay? Let's go 50, hit enter, and there it is there. So we're gonna be focused on that whole entire area. Um, add locations in bulk. I could have done that as well, but don't need that. Um, and then we'll scroll down. So there's a, a potential reach of 4.6 million people. Now, obviously, we're not going to hit all those because we're not going to put a huge, huge budget on this. But um, what I am going to do is I'm going to edit placements. So to make sure that my budget goes a long way. Okay, so I'm going to uncheck Instagram, I'm going to uncheck Messenger. Um, I'm even going to uncheck audience network. I'm going to leave it just on Facebook. Make sure that it's in the feed, make sure it's in the marketplace, the video feeds, the Facebook stories, um, in stream. We'll go with that. Um, instant articles, I'm going to uncheck that. And then I'll scroll down. And then now we're down to a 3.5. Okay, so we're going to scroll down. Let's look at more options. And I'm going to also, what I wanted to do also is I wanted to, we'll actually do that. Let's go with, let's go with, um, make sure everything is correct. Um, okay, we'll, we'll leave it at that. Actually, and this is what I was looking for. Okay, so I'm going to exclude people who follow her page, okay? We don't need to target anyone that, that follows the page. We wanna focus on just our local area. So I, I'll exclude the page, and then I'll come down, come down, come down, and then the budget. So here's what I do on the budget. Rather than, rather than going daily budget, what I, go, what I do is I go lifetime budget, okay? I go lifetime budget. And it's the same dollar amount. So for example, we're going to be going $10 a day for 10 days. Okay, so there's 100 bucks. So rather than going $10 per day for 10 days, I'm going to go lifetime for 100. Okay, and then I'm going to make sure that this calendar is set correctly. So today's the 12th. What I always do is set that ad for the following day. That way I give Facebook plenty of time to review it and approve the ad. So I'm going to go there. I'm going to change this to February and we're going to run it from the 13th to the 23rd. Okay. So we'll run that six, make sure this matches. That way we know that our dollar is spread evenly, right? So the 13th to the 23rd, there is our hundred dollar lifetime budget. And that's how I set it up. You guys, there is the blue button, we'll click continue. And then what we'll do is we will simply um, paste in the title for the ad name. I'll just do the same thing up here, doesn't matter. I'll just put, oh shit, I put, 
it's okay. That's fine. And then um, I'll just put that. That's fine. And then what I'm going to do down here is I'm not going to create ad. I'm going to use existing post. And again, if you've caught any of my previous videos, I talk about the same shit all the time. This right here, the reason why I don't do create ad, bring the you know video or the image from my computer is because the moment I turn that ad off, it's nowhere to be found. It's completely off the line, right? It's off Facebook. It's off the internet. It's nowhere to be found. But if I spent money on it, I want that ad to be up and on my business page 24 seven for the rest of my life. I paid for it. I put money behind that ad. Even if the ad sucked, even if the video sucked, even if the image sucked, even if your copy, the text sucked, it does not matter, man. We spent money on it. So it needs to stay on the page. It needs to live on the page. And that's why I post it on the page first and then come over here and use existing post. Okay, so I'll use existing post, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here, hit select post, and I'm going to find that post, which is this one right here, an introduction. Okay, so let's click on that one, and you'll hit continue, and we'll scroll down. And in this case, we're not driving anyone to a landing page, so the call to action button, it's not going to be learn more. It's going to, this is a simple video view ad. So we're not expecting people to really click on it at all. Um, now, can people click on it in the future, especially if the ads turned off and the post is still sitting on the business page? Yeah, for sure. They can always click on the call to action button. But in this case, with this budget, with the fact that we're running an ad, um, we're only doing it to capture an audience. We're only doing it so we can grab the data and we can build a custom audience around those who viewed it. So in this case, I'll just put the send message we don't need to drive them to a page um, right now at all. So we'll just put send message and then it'll update over here and we'll be able to see what it looks like. And, 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 and what you want to also uh, keep in mind is that once I, 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 I use existing post, once I put it over here um, and I, and, and then I, and then I simply, and I'm glad this is coming up. I'm glad we're right here. I'm glad I'm talking about this because here's what's super important. Once I, I, I select post and I use existing post and now it's here, I can no longer change the, the text. I can't change anything. Even over here, once I go live, like I, I won't be able to edit anymore. So once I hit confirm at the bottom, once I hit confirm and it goes into review, even before it's even active, even before Facebook even approves it, I won't be able to, be able to come over here and edit post. So, I, so, so you want to make sure, I want to make sure that – all this text is right. Make sure there's no misspelled words. Make sure that the title is is there. And look, when I when I when I put when I brought it over here, let's look at this. Right here to the left of send message, this empty spot. That's where the title would go. That's where the title does go. That's where it would show. And so in this case, it looks like she didn't put a title. So what I want to do before I confirm it and make it go into approve into into review status, I want to edit post. And I want to add a title. Okay. Actually, she put let's go. That let's go should be, it should be showing right here at the bottom, which hopefully it does when the ad goes live. Um, but yeah, she did it the right way. So there's the title, and then there is the actual description. So she did it the right way. And then the thumbnail, let's see if we can maybe find a a, a different thumbnail. Because all of them are actually good, but I just wanted to see if I can find one that really stood out and shows her, you know, smile and personality. And 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 all that is having a good thumbnail, it's really it's really clickbait, right? It's get it gets someone to stop. See, maybe this one. Let's let's go with that one. She, you know, it looks like she's waving, right? So let's so so that's why I wanted to make sure that everything is set before I run, before I before I I, I submit it. What I also want to do is include the subtitles. So English, and I'm going to simply, um, now I can either spend the time and go through it myself, or I can have Facebook just auto-generate it. Normally, I'll go through it myself, um, but let me see. Okay, so my name is so cheesy to Okay, so this let let's go through this real quick to real quick to get together, you guys. 
actually it's kind of a long video so let's okay so i'm gonna actually go through this man let's just go through it how you guys are gonna have to you guys are gonna you guys are gonna have to have some patience because it's worth it to go through love of my life um who has supported me and allowed me to stay at home for a really the love of my life um who has supported me and allowed me to stay at home for a really love of my life um the love of my life the love of my life um who has supported me and allowed me to stay at home for for a really long time and be a stay-at-home mom and then now transfer into being a real estate agent which is something I'll transfer into being a real estate agent which is something that I wanted to do for a really long time um, but never had the courage to take that leap and I finally did and I am so excited and I absolutely love love my job um, I am an incredibly passionate person and everything I do, I do it. This is, this is the tedious part, you guys. And everything I do, I do it with really passionate, really passionate person. And everything I do, I do it with every part of who I am. Now, sometimes of who I am. Now, sometimes that can be really good and sometimes that can be not. Sometimes that can be not of who I am. Now, sometimes that can be really good and sometimes that can be not so good. 
I like to say that passion is something that you want your real estate agent to have because when somebody's passionate about what they do, they're going to work extra hard for you. And that's what you want. They're going to work extra hard for you. And that's what you want. You want a real estate agent that is going to hold your hand the entire way. And that's what I do. That's like my specialty. Um, is really just being there halfway, way, and that's what I do. That's like my specialty. Um, is really just being there, telling you exactly how it is, um, helping you through. They just being there, telling you. Really just being there. Telling you exactly how it is, um, helping, just being there, really just being there, telling you exactly how it is, um, helping you. Really just being there, telling you exactly how it is, um, helping you through. Really just being there, really just being there, really just being there, telling you exactly how it is, um, helping you through every aspect, setting you up with the amazing team that is behind me um, the entire way, and my down from my broker to the lenders to closing attorneys, everything. We all work so well together. The lenders to to closing attorneys, everything. We all work so well together up here. And I've really built such a community up where I am um, to be able to deliver such an amazing experience for all of my clients. Uh, I, for all of my clients. Uh, I go anywhere in Georgia, like, you know, around for all of my clients. Uh, I go anywhere in Georgia, like, you know, around the Atlanta area. So when I say I live up in West Palm, the Atlanta area. So when I say I live up in West Palm, I go down to McDonough, I go up to Rome, I go east, west, I go everywhere, anywhere my clients want to buy or sell, go everywhere, anywhere my clients want to buy or sell, I am your gal, go everywhere, anywhere my clients want to buy or sell, I am your, your gal, um, I do everything truly with every part of who I am. And so I do have a tagline that has that in there and it is let my passion. I do have a tagline that has that in there and it is let my passion light my passion and light the path to your new home. So that's my passion light the path to your new home. So that's kind of what I go by. I live by it. My passion light the path to your new home. So that's kind of what I go by. I live by it. I want to go by. I live by it. I wear my heart on, the, on my sleeve and I give my all because there's absolutely nothing better than calling a client and telling them your offer was accepted or we just got an offer on your house or guess what guys, we have a closing date and here's the time and handing those keys out a closing date and here's the time and the closing date time and handing those keys over um 
seeing the light in people's eyes when the closing date and here's the time okay. and handing those keys over um seeing the light in people's eyes when they find the one and they fall in love and you can just see it and knowing that you are a part of finding their home a place where they walk in and no matter what kind of day they're having no matter how bad it is what kind of day they're having no matter how bad it is no matter what no matter what kind of day they're having no matter how bad it is no matter what happened on the outside of those doors when they walk into no matter what no matter what happened on no matter what happened on the outside of those no matter what no matter what happened on the outside of those doors they walk into their home all is good no matter what happened on the outside of those doors when they walk walk into their home all is they walk into their home all is good and they can lay their head down at night and just feel good and be happy and that if I can just give just you know, head down at night and just feel good and be happy and that if I can just give just even a little piece of that to someone um, then I've done my job and if I can just give just even a little piece of that to someone, um, then I've done my job. And if I happen to do it in a seamless process at the same time, it's even better. So again, my name is Mary Catherine Soulsby. I'm with Mary Catherine Soulsby. I'm with Fox Realty Group. And I would love to work Mary Catherine Soulsby, I'm with Fox Realty Group, and I would love to work for you. So give me a call to work for you. So give me a call, click the button below, learn more, whatever it is, I am your gal. Whatever you want, learn more, What? Whatever it is, I am your gal. Whatever you want, come to me and let's talk it out. Bye, guys. All right, you guys. That is tedious as shit, but at the same time, it's super, super important. So let's save. Let's save, and we are freaking good. Okay, so let's get that thing out the way. We're good with that. Now that thing was just updated, um, and now we can come over here, hit confirm, and we are good. That is it. So yeah, that's that's pretty much the when it comes to video, you want to make sure those subtitles are in there because another statistic is the fact that a lot of us that watch video, we watch it with the volume off. So those subtitles are super super important to catch people's attention. You definitely want to do that. And so the ad is now going to go into a review. Um, this one looks like it was already approved. Um, it's already scheduled to go. This one is already scheduled to go. This one might be in review. Yeah, in review. And so this will be in review for, it could be a few minutes, it could be a few hours, but that's the reason why I set it for the next day to go out at 6 a.m. So it gives us plenty of time for Facebook to review this and then approve it. I've seen Facebook take as, as long as a day, a little over a day to sometimes approve the entire ad. Um, I've seen Facebook approve it in a few minutes. So you want to make sure that each tab says scheduled or each tab says um, active. Okay, so here's tab number one. This is the campaign level. We're scheduled. We're good. This is the second one. We're scheduled. We're good. And this is the third one. So again, we're set for 6 a.m. So what you want to do is make sure that you receive a notification. You'll either receive a notification from Facebook saying it was approved and your ad is scheduled to be running, or you'll receive a, an email from Facebook. But either or, um, you'll be notified 
on the status of that ad, okay? And then it'll run for, for the 10 days. We're gonna put $100 towards it. And again, at the end of it, our whole goal is to get a few thousand people in that local area to see it and then build a custom audience around that, okay? And then continue to run conversion ads, retargeting that group, that custom audience in the future to capture the lead, okay? So this is step one, man. This is what I just highly encourage every single local business owner to do pull out your phone and introduce yourself. All right, you guys, I'll see you on the next video. Over and out.